of what I said. Yeah! 50%? 100%? Yeah. Yes. 0%? Yes. So, welcome to the story of my life. I'm gonna take you on a journey. It's a journey with joy and sorrow and light and dark, disappointment, betrayal, happiness, everything that life is made out of. I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, are you ready for it? Yeah! But most of all, I'm going to share my light with you. Are you ready for it?
Never forget where you come from. Never forget the beginning. Never forget how hard you worked. Never forget the struggle. Never forget it. Keep it close to you, inside of you, near you. And this is the point of, this is the point of life, really. You don't want to live in the past, but we also must be grateful for our past because that's what made us who we are today. So, thank you, my love. She was a little shit kicker, that's right. Debbie knew me when I wore these goddamn golf shorts in the middle of winter, okay? Only she understands. And uh, I was a little jealous of her because she always looked cute and I did not. She always had the most fabulous hairstyle. She had incredible makeup. She always had a killer outfit. Oh, I was so jealous. Anyway, everybody, I learned from you, Debbie. Thank you. Grateful. I learned the importance of having nice nails, matching jewelry, and a good hairstyle. Debbie and I used to do, I don't share this with very many people. In fact, I have never said this in an audience. I've never written it in a book. I've never read it. Oh, so you're going to hear it for the first time. I hope you understand it. If you don't, that's your tough one. Debbie and I used to go to parties. Debbie, don't get mad at me, I'm saying. And we would see hot guys, you know, cute boys here, cute boys there. We, 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 were, we were very fond of Puerto Ricans at the time. Um, so, anyway, what we would do to get their attention is that we would start making out with each other. You understand that? I'll show you. Only it was a little bit more passionate than that. I just don't, I don't want to fuck up. My lipstick or hers? <sighs> okay. I, I know Fika means pussy, so fuck you. <laughs> Honestly, this is a weird conversation because it's like, I don't really understand if you're just listening or you're not understanding. So back in the day, it was really prestigious. You know, I started as a dancer, but I was tired of being broke. And I decided to become a musician. And so the first song I ever wrote was called Burning Up. And, yeah. Oh, good, I got a response. It was called Burning Up. And I played it at a club called CBJ Man! 